everyone, Miss Tui here. We are going to get to know your Ozobot today. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot Evo, a pencil, your Get to Know Evo worksheet, and optionally, if you'd like to color, markers, color pencils, or crayons. In today's lesson, you will be introduced to Evo's various hardware components. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to identify and label Evo's hardware. Before we jump in, let's review some vocabulary. Today, we will be exploring Evo's hardware. What is hardware? Hardware can be defined as the physical parts of a computer or a robot. As we go through the different hardware components of the bot, follow along on your worksheet to label the different parts of Evo. Let's take a look at your worksheet so that you can follow along. Here we have the key terms with Evo's main hardware components. Here you have a front view of the bot, a back, top, and bottom view of the bot. And here are all the places for us to label the hardware components. Evo is a line-following robot that you can program two ways, color codes made with markers and with Ozoblockly, block coding on a computer or tablet. You'll learn all about these two ways to code in upcoming lessons. In your kit, you will have an Ozobot Evo, markers, and a charging cable. Can you find all of these items? Let's get started. Evo has three types of sensors, proximity, line following, and color. Evo has proximity sensors that can be programmed in Ozoblockly to detect objects in front and behind the bot. Can you find Evo's proximity sensors? They can be viewed from the front and the back. One of Evo's features is that it can follow lines. Underneath the bot, towards the front, there is a row of line following sensors. These sensors allow Evo to see and follow a drawn line. Evo can detect and respond to colors using the color sensor located underneath Evo between the wheels. Can you find these sensors on your bot? Don't forget to label your worksheet. Evo has LED lights. There's one light on top of Evo and five in front of Evo. Evo's LEDs will display colors based on the color line it is following, or Evo's LEDs can be programmed with Ozoblockly. Can you find the LEDs on your bot and on your worksheet? Evo uses wheels, a motor, and a battery to move. The motor and battery are not visible from the exterior of the bot, but is connected to the wheels. Evo can be programmed to make sounds and even speak with Ozoblockly. The speaker can be found in the front of the bot between the front proximity sensors. Look through the clear plastic. The speaker is under the mesh screen. Can you find these on your bot? Don't forget to label your worksheet. You can find Evo's antenna by looking at the top of the bot. The board you see here is the baby PCB board. The board controls the robot. Towards the front of the board, there is a tiny white rectangular prism. This is Evo's antenna. The antenna allows for Bluetooth connectivity. Can you find the antenna on your bot and on the worksheet? Evo uses a micro USB port and charging cable to charge its battery. You can find the port on the back of the bot. Evo fully charges in about one hour. The LED lights will turn solid green when it's finished charging. 
On a full charge, the battery life is approximately one hour. Find and label the micro USB port on your worksheet. Evo's power button is on the side. The power button can be used for more than turning your bot on and off. It can also be used to calibrate Evo's sensor and to execute Ozoblockly programs after they've been transferred to your bot. To learn more about calibrating Evo, check out our Introduction to Color Codes lessons. Find and label the power button on your worksheet. Now that you know how Evo works, come back again soon to learn all about Evo's color codes. If you'd like more to do right now, you can use markers, pencils, or crayons to color your worksheet.